Sorry, mate. Yeah, let's look here. Uh, nice to hear. I didn't know auto was moving. Uh, nice to uh, hear that. I, I'm still holding, of course. The the did you say three day? I think you talked about the daily. You think it pass the 100? I'm assuming you mean the daily. Uh, it's also coming in here. Now this is an important level because. Uh, this is the level that it, it'll uh, either fail at and go to new lows, or um, or, or we recapture it and, and consolidate here for a period of time before moving up. Um, so it is into a critical level. Uh, I assume you're talking about a daily. Um, can it recapture that daily? I'm assuming. Now sometimes this can be a powerful pattern as well. See the way that this comes over price and then it'll come back down underneath price so this can break up and then it can chop about for a period of time before actually breaking up out of that apex uh, as this comes down here as well um, so it, yeah very choppy it's up five percent here right now can it break it uh, it looks like it should to be honest um, if we look here like this is savage and it's trying to savage chop and it's trying to break up out of that uh, it looks like it's trying to come up and take liquidity in in this wick somewhere you know up in here uh, so it does look like we're going to try and attempt to get more upside um, it's a new two week tomorrow this is a oh, that didn't change um, hmm interesting because this is a normal move up to take liquidity into this wick it is difficult to know if it'll if it'll outpass this um that's a two week you know can we like it's it's very bullish to get above it's it's potentially very bullish to get above the yellow nine ema we got above it here and we failed and we came back down but you know the second attempt can have more success uh let's look at the weekly here how's the weekly looking hmm it's a bullish weekly candle and we are now closing um no we're not actually i was going to say we are closing above the previous candle we're, we didn't do that we're kind of but it, but it is good to see we're closing above the yellow nine ema on a weekly you can see here we closed above the yellow nine on a weekly and we continue to grind uh this one got rejected straight away but getting above it technically is bullish and we are above that right now so it it does up the chances that we can get another green week next week and and uh and keep this continuation going so let's look at the monthly here just to uh see it yeah see we're coming up to take liquidity in this it does look like we should come up again i i honestly i'm unsure if auto is bottomed or not um it wouldn't surprise me at some point to see auto roll over but at this point i'm in i'm long and um you know we'll have to just see how it goes this like i i personally when i see a doji here well there's also a large volume on this when i see the doji here um markets like to bottom out below dojis uh, as a matter of fact a lot of times I can't think of any off the top of my head but when you get a doji a lot of times market like to bottom out below that it's also below this volume here um, so at some point it would not surprise me to see this fail and come back down in the meantime we do look bullish we do look like there's still some short-term upside uh, how much upside I'm not too sure this is a bullish three monthly candle um, you know it's a bullish three month stop hunt uh, so you know we could continue to come up here and take liquidity above um, it's it's a mess of a chart I'll not lie about like look at this it's a mess that's a two-week chart so it's not really good for giving clear direction but we are slightly bullish in the meantime and if I were to guess I do think that we're going higher I think we can probably go higher and test the top of this wick um, you know and move up and and, and and maybe test the red 200 ideally you know we didn't test it here but it looks like we can move up here to test that so I, I think we can i think we can recapture that next week yes